All right, now we are going to see what is the deep learning process. Earlier in this section, we have seen how machine learning process works. So the similar things happens here. So in, in earlier case, we were taking the case of the data and other things. But in deep learning case, we are trying to understand that how this deep learning actually works there internally. All right, so it takes their input then that input is passed there to your neural network. Earlier I told you that these are actually the neurons or you can say that the single neural unit there and these are the layer. So when it has the multiple layer then it is known as a multi-layer perceptron. These are the input layer where input directly comes there and these are the output layer where the output is happening there. So when we have just a single node, that means it predicts a, a binary classification. So whatever the target output comes there, I mean this predicted output comes there, it is compared with the actual value or the true value. And then a loss function is applied there so that compare the differences between the predicted and the true value. Based on that, it passes the information to your machine learning or deep learning model to change its weight there. So these weights are actually used to multiply with the input and thereafter there is the activation function which I told you the earlier. So in these things are combined together. So with the help of the weight input gets multiplied by weight and then there is some 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 bias term is added in your model. Again, I'm telling you, do not worry about the technical details of the neural network. In coming sections, I'll be explaining you those in very much detail. As of now, we are just going through the intuition of the deep learning process. That's all. So you just understand that there is the input. So this input goes through the multiple layer of the neural network. And then final prediction happens there. It get, it get compared with the true value. And then there is a function which is known as a loss function. So this loss function tells your network that how your network needs to update its weight and in which direction or how fast it need to be updated that is defined by the optimizer. So if you use a better optimizer in your deep learning model, then the convergence of your model happen fast. When I say the convergence, that means suppose that you need to reach at the cliff of, uh, cliff of uh, you know, the mountain, then how fast you can reach at the cliff or I can say that in case of the loss, loss function, you need to reach at the valley. So how fast you can reach at the valley, that means at the lowest point on the surface. So how fast you can reach that is known as the optimizer there. So the optimizer makes sure that you follow a fastest route to reach at the valley there. So once you reach at the lowest point that is known as the convergence there. All right, so those things are controlled by the loss function optimizer and these weights there and the of course activation functions are also there. So when information passes from forward direction to the target output, it is known as forward propagation. And if there is error, so the loss function calculates that then information passes from the backward to the forward direction that then in that case, it is known as a backward propagation. All right. So in the coming lessons, I'll be seeing forward propagation and the backward propagation in the detail, probably in next section, I'll be telling you, you know, the details of these kind of the propagation. All right. I'll see you next lesson.